CNN has just confirmed that Rick Perry is Donald Trump's pick to be energy secretary. And remember back in the day when Rick Perry was running for president mm -hmm. and that horrible debate he had? Well, let me remind you, here it is. And I will tell you, it's three agencies of government when I get there that are gone. Commerce, education, and the, um, uh, what's the third one there? Let's see. <laughs> you need five. Oh, five, yeah, okay. So five. commerce, education, and uh, the... Um, um, uh, EPA? EPA, there you go. No, again. Let's talk, let's talk deposition. Seriously? Um, Is EPA no, the one you were talking about? Or? No, sir. No, sir. We were talking about the... Um, agencies of government. The EPA needs to be rebuilt. But There's you no can't, doubt about that. But you that. can't name the third one. The third agency of government. Yeah. I would. I would do away with the education, uh, the uh, <laughs> commerce. I, I, commerce, and let's see. Oh I can't. The third one. I can't. Sorry. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so he meant to say, oh, that was so painful, David." And I feel bad it's about so showing painful. that again. It was so painful. But he did mean the Department of Energy, an agency that he maybe will head very soon. So how, how does that wash exactly? And remember, Donald Trump has talked about uh, at one point getting rid of the Department of Education and, and you know, there will be one uh, still and he's appointed somewhere there. This has been uh, some sort of mainstream, actually, Republican rhetoric to want to close down some of these uh, federal departments. And yes, now some of those very critics uh, will be leading this. But I do want to say, Carol, that was uh, Rick Perry's first presidential run. His second presidential run, which was more brief, uh, when he was actually an opponent to Donald Trump very early on in the season and came out with a scathing rebuke of Donald mm. Trump at that time. And now he's going to be sitting in cabinet meetings working for Donald Trump as his energy secretary. Uh, to Ron's point earlier, I think that this is one of those that shows Donald Trump not afraid uh, to take former critics and, and seat them at the table.